Hello everyone and welcome back to the little corner of YouTube which goes under the name of Reggie's Corner. So we are back with a new Let's Play and this time it's of a game called Invention. And to be honest I had never heard of this game before uh, running into it being mentioned on like a podcast and it was also mentioned as being super cheap. Uh, 99 cents uh, off of Steam, so I thought, why not? It looked kind of old school, and I thought I might try it out for a little while. So if this feels like something you want to experiment alongside with me, feel free to join, because now we will start. And I will do a new game. Oh, I should mention that this looks to be like a Russian game. Uh, I don't know if that impacts in any way, but yeah, it's uh, worth mentioning because there aren't that many Russian games out there, I think at least. And I will do a new game. So, um, it looks as if we are already in it, and this is, as far as I can tell, a mouse and keyboard game, and also <laughs> kind of low res and budgety looking, but it could still be worth having a go at. And we're not really sure what we're doing here, so I guess we'll just crack on. And space seems to be the um, jump button. Is there any way to sprint? Okay, so we're in some sort of a jungle, and if this game had been released like 10 years ago, this was probably kind of a good looking game uh, as it is it's dated but not like ugly I would say and also I should mention that I'm a firm believer of the if the game is good the game is good school so if it's a good story and it's got like good mechanics and gameplay and stuff like that I'm usually New task, come into bunker. All right. Uh, yeah, so if everything is good apart from like graphics and stuff, I'm usually kind of forgiving. Felt like an invisible wall. And it is. Okay, stuff like that though, I'm not so fond of. Let's see. And the F key is sort of the interactive key, it looks like. So what's this? Okay, this is absolutely horrible. Oh, so here it is. That could have been advertised a lot more. Like, seriously, a lot more. Well, third time's the charm and all that. Uh, this game not off to a good start, though. Already somewhat annoyed by how you can't really pause in a good way, you can't really continue the game because, like, why do you have to start back up there? And it was not intuitive how you actually pick a weapon. Stuff like that is kind of basic. Like, can I just put it there? Oh, you can. What's that then? That you can't do. But that you can do. I mean, like, why isn't there a close button here? Oh, that's stupid. It's so stupid. Well, at least now we can whack at the baddies. At 
that's better than before. <laughs> okay, first let's grab the goodies here and then smack time. In your face. It's my case. Wow, this guy can take a beating. Get out of the bunker! But we just came in! Oh, and obviously it's... Uh, yeah. We're locked in. Plonk, plonk, plonk. Can you smack at these? Nope. Nothing in there. Take all. Close. So this is now my go-to... Oh, maybe you can do... Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Tab is the all close button. Not really. Like, it's not... When you know what it does, maybe it's not super unrealistic, but they should have told me. They really should. Workroom is for other people, obviously. Anything in here? No. What about here, then? No. And this is the generator. So shiny, so very shiny. Oh, that's uh, some ammunition. Don't mind if I do. Well, maybe it does, but you know, I don't care. There's no one here to stop me. And that one, yeah. So we got that sorted. Is there anything in here? No. Uh, can I actually hear dudes through the wall? Like if there's a dude, there is a dude. In your face, zombies. I don't approve, but come on. Are you dead? Yeah, he dead. Whoever got eaten, that's a lot of weird intestines and stuff. Non radioactive isotope, HE3, danger gas. Well, all of that sounded horrific. Oh, this looks like a shotgun and Obviously, we want some of that. Okay, so can I put that one in there? And, well, I'm not so sure what this does. Can I now? Yes, I can. Is that a vest? No, that's just some good old tools. Um, or, well, well, once again, I can hear someone gnawing at stuff. Not sure what that did. Not at all sure. guess we're heading back out maybe yeah maybe one of these other doors started working like nope but this one maybe Wow. Come on. Don't be shy. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, who's talking now? What? Can I go in here? Thank you. Two out of 16. So can I reload? Oh, I can very you struggling there buddy yeah. 
Oh, that's a sturdy fella. I'm sorry, bro. You know how it is. Uh, no. And we're somewhat okay on health, I guess. Let's pick that up. Sometimes at night I hear strange sounds. It seems they hear from the second level. Yeah. And here we actually have a close button. You know, that good stuff in life. Oh, that's nasty. Someone ruined the big, beautiful TV screen as well. In the middle of the circle. Maybe they had like a little meeting here. And these undead fellas rudely interrupted. Well, at least the clock works. What's happening, dude? I would see you to be interrupting nothing because you're dead and all. Okay, so we came in here and we went in there. Can we now go into the classroom? Hello, bro. What up, Holmes? Yeah, I'm looking at you, son. Well, son is maybe not the best word, seeing as we don't really know the sex of these guys anymore. If there are indeed guys. Yeah. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Wow, this guy got eaten. Like, a lot. Okay, what do we have here? Maybe we don't have anything. Nope. It looks like you could pick that up. Well, maybe they came into the biology class because they thought they could have a snack. All right. Oh, that's a lot of guys. First you. And you. And you. What is that noise? Oh, it's the clock. That, yeah. <laughs> it took a while to realize what it was. It was a loud clicking, ticking. Guessing some of these ordinary guys, I should probably use the. Yeah, I see you, son. You should probably use um, some of these. Oh, wow. So this is nothing? No, it was something. Uh, can we store some health? Yeah, let's use that. Thank you. So, is there anything in these? No, nothing whatsoever. Oh, interlevel access card and note. Okay, let's grab that. I'll leave you an access card to level two. Use it only when absolutely necessary. Well, I guess that time has come hasn't it? Well, it's a little bug. <clears throat> Never mind. Take all. Flask with water. Is there anything in here? No. And here? No. Well, we are going for all the loots as per usual. So, you know. Yeah. Load up with some of that good stuff. Is there anyone in the kitchen? Memories. Oh, yes, take all. We need all the cookies, Snickers bars, and whatnot. What? Someone hiding in the oven? 
Nah. No, that doesn't make sense. But this does. Grab some cookies and some bars. Maybe I should have one of those right away. Candy bar. Yum, 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 yum. Chamay. Okay. So that was that. What's in here then? One of these guys. Ah, uh, unfair. I thought it was maybe like not a guy, but a woman. Now I can't tell because it is hidden beneath that huge pile of blobs. Yeah, that's what I want. Can we search these? Yeah, I don't want to look down the toilet if you don't mind. Access card. Oh, so no fancy elevator this time around. Eight shells. I'm guessing there's like regular pistols somewhere, seeing as I got some pistol rounds, even though I can't really say where they are at. Anything in these here barrels? No. Oh, new task, reach level three, new notes added, terrible events, yes, terrible indeed. Oh, so maybe this here, terrible events, it seems that there are no living people, immediately at the entrance I tried to eat what that scary monsters. Yeah, doors locked ago, we'll have to find another way out. So I'm guessing he was kind of trying to describe what happened. Oh, tasty shells. Don't mind if I do. Well, you know, maybe you do, but you can't stop me from doing what I do. Well, that was a burly dude. I thought he would go down. Well, I thought he would go down, but not that easy. Oh, hello there. Oh, two guys with one shot. Glorious. Yeah, I can see you, bro. I can see you. Be patient. We'll get to you in time. But, you know. Take your turn. And oh, Jesus. <laughs> No, I was just about to say that this game isn't that scary, but the good old traditional jump scare did me, that's for sure. Uh, no, that one we've seen. Is it this one? Today, the doctors told me that I will experience on its development. They said that once make me an injection, I become stronger and hardier. I do not understand why they kept us in a cage. Okay, so... This is clearly written by people that, oh, that's nasty. People that, you know, aren't having English as their working language. Uh, so some of it is a little bit more unclear than I think is intended. But from what I can read, it seems, oh, Jesus. It seems like they had some weird experience, experience, experiments going on here and injected people with stuff. You know, classic horror stuff, to be brutally honest. Oh, wow, we're getting some body armor. Can we use it? We can. Nice. Very nice indeed. Let's. Yeah, let's have a biscuit. Yeah. I think I'll check out the second floor. Is there anyone up here? No. It seems like everyone went down to try and eat my brains. You know, zombie craving. It's a big blob of nothing. Oh, 
Oh, he has a key. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Ah, <sighs> poor little dude. But even in the afterlife, he could help us out being a bro. I'm guessing this is the key that we need to go to the next level. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Please line up. You dead? Yeah, you're dead, but there's someone in there. Is it only you? <sighs> I'm sorry, folks. It was so scary, I had to take a sneeze. Oh, biscuit time. Biscuit, biscuit, and more biscuit. I'm all for the biscuits. I mean, who wouldn't be? Okay. So. Oh, that's a machete. Yes, please. And a pistol. And a dead person with some clips. Oh, we're getting all the loot we need right about now. What are these? Well, they're cool, whatever they are. So, you know in with that what is it? could we oh that's what they're there for let's have some some of that what like the hunger thing is that really something we need to like be aware of I think we'll use the pistol just to make sure that it's decent or not we kind of need, okay, that's the big door, so I'm guessing this one, restricted area, yeah, authorized personnel only. Yeah, so it's not super good. <laughs> it's not super awful, but you know. Um, the shotgun was better. I mean, that's just like standard, standard fare in like any first person shooter shotgun is always badass this is a depressing place isn't it okay results of test patient n24 vaccine test failed the subject has died after minutes some minutes and some 27 seconds at this time he was paralyzed yeah whatever they try to do here obviously didn't work out very well you know or maybe it did but i'm guessing it didn't in your ass okay let's see if we can... no yeah yes we can anyway is this something we can work with hello and you in the face is this like hmm yeah oh man yeah how dare you try to come at me like that I'll grab your grenade Oh, that's nasty. It's like a room full of gore. Did you have any good stuff, mister? Oh, a tasty apple. Yes. We will grab the tasty apple and then we'll leave this absolutely disgusting room. And go into here instead. Yeah, I could have sworn that would have hit this guy. But, you know, undead folks and all their little... Nope. <laughs> and all their little schemes. Yeah. Yeah. You, you just can't trust the undead, can you? I mean, 
it's kind of their thing. Wouldn't you agree, good sir? I'll take your silent as a yes. Well, you better shield down. It's not good for your nerves. Okay. A lot of blood. Some water stuff. Ooh. Once again, these... Um, yeah, we don't really know what they are, but they look like a laboratory stuff environment thingy. Yeah, can't go down there. So, yeah, that leaves us this door on... Hello. Okay, that didn't work. At all. <clears throat> Yummy. Did I miss something? Like, did this bro actually have something? No. Can I shoot these? Well, I can, but it doesn't really do anything at all. And like, this wasn't anything that you could do. And this one was, well, dead. Nothing much in here either. No? Hmm. Well, unless I miss something super obvious, uh, it feels like I hit a dead end. Like, is there anything in here at all? No? No, 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 no. Like this room really, like, could you jump down here maybe? No, you could not. And we didn't really have anything up here going on either. And I don't think we can go back out. I don't even know why we would want to go back out even if we could. We got like a hand grenade. Is that something that we should use? Really? I mean, yeah. Well, that did nothing, but now we shot at everything. No, no, that didn't work. So we go back here. Try to figure this stuff out. Feels like you should pump this water out if there is in fact like a staircase down. I'm not sure that there is. This like something you oh so it is
Yeah, that did not do the trick. Which means... Are we stuck now? That would be unfortunate. Because that didn't do anything. That didn't do anything. Is there anything in here? Reach level 3. No, nothing in here. Reach level 3. Which, you know... Sure, but how? <laughs> Why can't I walk on this here water? You can't pull these curtains. Yeah. It's not making much sense at this moment in time, is it? Oh! If this did it, I'll be, uh, yeah, not super impressed. Wow. <laughs> so that actually did do it, but not only that. I could see that one coming. It also emptied this entire space super quick. I'm guessing that opened the door that we couldn't go through a little bit earlier. This one? Yes, level three. Got some good stuff. Answer is sadly no. Sadly, no. So, that was the first part of our Let's Play of Invention. And we are just about to go down to floor number three after having killed a bunch of zombies. Um, I will keep this very brief. This game is not super and it's not terribly awful. Uh, there were some stuff about the controls I wish they have handled a bit better, but I will press on and hopefully things will only get better as we go along. Uh, yeah, not much more to say really. It's a straight up zombie FPS game. I hope you've enjoyed yourself and that I will see you fine folks again in the next part. Until then, have the greatest of time and game your little soul away as per usual. Bye for now.